and we're going to bring out baby Yoda. Yoda, the armadillo. Look at that one, you guys. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Now, like I said, his name is Yoda, the golden armadillo from Paraguay, South America. And he's called a three-banded armadillo because if you turn him around, you know what you're going to see on his back? He has three armored bands. There's one, two, and three. But if you look, you know what else you're going to see? One, two, three, and four bands of skin. But he has three bands of armor but it also protects him from his favorite food. And do you know what his favorite food is? Bugs. Ew! Wait a minute. You guys don't eat bugs? No! No! Okay, well this guy, he's an anteater. He runs around in the wild. He digs open those ants. As they're coming out, he's eating them. Yes, he's gonna open, but the only way he's gonna open is if you guys say the magic word. And that is, I'm not sure if he's ready to come out yet. Oh, he is. Can you guys say, well, we'll put him on. Can you guys say, transform? Transform! And he transformed into the armadillo. Now I'm gonna set him on the ground, watch this. And then we can see him move around. Now he's not too active during the day. He's more active at nighttime. There he goes. He is very fast, but when he's on a slippery surface like this tile here, he's not as fast because he can't get traction or he can't grip. Yep, now you know what he's doing? He's looking for bugs. He's smelling the ground. He's like, hey, where's all the bugs? Today I'm here bringing amazing animals from around the world to uh, let kids get a chance to get up close and personal and be able to touch them, hold them, and maybe even put them around them. And I have one over here that they're going to see in a little bit that they're actually going to get to feed. It's pretty exciting because a lot of these animals kids have never seen or even touched before, so it's pretty awesome. I love teaching kids how a lot of the animals have things in common with them. Like they, um, some of my animals love to eat strawberries and I ask the kids who love strawberries and all the kids get really excited and you know, I, I let them know that you know, they do similar things and like you know, and I like to teach them about where they come from and relate and that kind of thing so the kids can really relate to the animals and break the barriers of sometimes they might be afraid of like a snake or something and I give them a lot of cool facts and try to show them um, you know, that they're not really what, you know, they might think that they are. Um, I tell the kids that, hey you guys, you get ready to travel around the world and today we're heading to Australia, Africa, South America, um, Indonesia. So we're going to be heading around the world and I kind of give them a little background on the kind of the environment that they come from, what they eat. I let them know that some of them live way up in the mountains where it's very, very cold. So, you know, I really try to bring the kids into their environment, about the animals, and it's, you know, it's, so it's a, they get the full experience. So it's pretty awesome. Well, one thing great about uh, today's times is that we have the internet. So I do a lot of research um, on the internet. I also like YouTube. I find some of the top breeders and the top people do videos on different stuff, so I'll watch those. And um, I also have a lot of books. I have a huge library all on reptiles dating all the way back to like the 50s and 60s. I have some books that I'm, you know, really proud of that, you know, they're pretty hard to get. So um, I do a lot of research on them. And then I, but it's not only important to have, you know, a cool animal, but you also got to know their behavior. Not all animals will fit good in with my kind of program. A lot of the exotics are real hyper or skittish or depending on if they're climbing animals or ones that have long tails that are known for being a little whippy. So I just gotta make sure it's that perfect fit, so. And balance it on your head. Look at that, you guys. And everyone give her a big hand, good job. <laughs>